folks. Um, are we, is the Zoom running okay? Yep, okay. We'll take a few questions from the journalists in the room first and then we'll go to the Zoom for the Scottish media back home. Yeah, I'm delighted. Uh, I think for a striker, it's something that you always need to try and get over as quick as possible and thank God I got it tonight. I think it was my second or third, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely. I was delighted. Uh, I think it's going for your country is the pinnacle of your career and thankfully I'll be able to do it. Uh, hopefully it will come. Yeah, it was great. Uh, it was one touch on the corner and Rob was continuing his run and put a great ball in and I was able to tap it in. It happened very quickly, but I think in situations like that you need to get a good connection with it. And then if you do, then it's always going to go back in it. Sorry, could I just ask, could the Scottish media be allowed to record this, please? Whoever's operating the Zoom. Yeah, it's a very strong group. As you can see, there's seven probably starters that are left. Uh, some big, big names in our team, and to go out and put a performance like that in is, is great, and it just shows the uh, strength and depth for the squad. Yeah, it's great. Uh, we said before the game, just get a good result and put a good performance in, and set a marker down for the, the start of the games, and we've done that. So, yeah, delighted, and I think it'll be a very good starter for the, the group. Okay, we'll take some questions from Zoom. Uh, BBC. Kevin, it's Rob McLean here uh, from BBC Scotland. Um, I mean, this has just been an incredible uh, season for you, obviously, um, you know, personal lows and, and highs and, and all the rest of it, uh, but, but quite incredible. And this is, this is another um, amazing moment for you in, in what's been an unforgettable season. Yeah, it's been a great season. Uh, there's been a lot of ups and downs and uh, on and off the park, but I think uh, this is another milestone ticked off for me, and it's just about me replicating that performance and keep scoring goals for Scotland. This must do wonders for your belief. Yeah, definitely. I think I'm a very confident person. Uh, I've always said that I'll score goals wherever I go, and I'm, I'm doing that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a very confident player. For so long, Scotland wondered where the goals were coming from. It seems as if we've, we've conquered that problem now. Uh, maybe. But uh, no, I think we've got Lyndon and uh, Shea as well, so they both can score goals for Scotland. So we've got three strikers that can score goals, so there's a lot of options. Sorry, could I just ask, Raman Bardwaj is asking if he can be allowed to record, please. Um, Ross, can I jump in? Yeah, we'll take a question from Raman. Hi, Kevin. Kevin, I just wondered how much uh, the players viewed these two games Certainly guys like yourself to think, right, okay, I can force myself into a starting berth come the Euros. Yeah, uh, it's great for the kind of fringe players to go and get the minutes and go and impress in games. And I think we've got, we've got two, uh, we've got, well, Billy's made his debut tonight as well. He's a great player, he's just joined us uh, in Scots, obviously, on the bench. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's great for everybody to go and uh, impress. And thankfully I've scored tonight and it puts me in the manager's thoughts. And I guess if you were, you know, before the game, you're going to take on the Dutch and you get a 2-2 draw, you'd think, OK, that's a, that's a good result. But uh, it's almost like feeling, oh, gosh, we could have won that. Yeah, of course, it's, it's a bit disappointing the way the goal went in. I think it was a bit soft, the free kick. But he's went and stuck in the top corner, so uh, we'll take it. It's, it's been a great performance for the lads and we've got two each against some world-class players. So, yeah, we're delighted and we're going to the Luxembourg game with a lot of confidence. Any other yes. questions on Zoom? Yeah, Ross, can I jump in? Oh. Yeah, we'll go to John and then we'll take one from yeah. Andrew. Kevin, what does it do for the team conference? When you, people have been talking about this, oh, we'll get, we, keep, we hope to get through the group stages, we hope to get the group stages, but you've gone out there and, and you should have won, probably, against a very good Dutch team. What does that say for you? Yeah, there's a lot of belief in the team. Uh, I think uh, we can do very well in this tournament coming up. But the next one for us is Luxembourg. 
Yeah, I think we just look to the next game and we need to go and put the uh, summer performance in and try and get a win. Yeah, and it'll be all stands in good stead for the tournament. And from the outside looking in, people maybe had their pick in order of who's the starting striker, who's the next guy. But when you came into the group, what did you look at? How did you look at it? Yeah, I thought that I would take the friendlies a chance to impress. I thought I've done well in training so far up until uh, this game. And I think that's why the gaffer put me on, because I've been doing well. And I've took my chance and I've scored. So, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of places up for grabs in the team and a lot of people try to impress and get a starting spot. We'll take a question from Andrew McLean. Kevin, how promising was it that despite all the sort of disruption in the past couple of days that the guys were able to put in a performance like that? Yeah, it's great. Uh, I think it shows the, the strength and depth of the squad. We've, we've got a lot of top-class players, uh, from, and that's probably every one of the 26. We all deserve to be here, and uh, yeah, it's been a great performance for the lads, and it's just now on to the next one. Any other questions from Zoom? Any questions from the Dutch media? One, one question. Um, on the pitch, um, I'm sorry, on the pitch, could you feel that you were more used to playing this system than the Dutch were? That were playing also with five for the first time? This. Yeah, I think we've been we've been playing that a lot uh, the past camps and it's, it's got us to the Euros. So yeah, we're, we're very familiar with the shape and we know where to be and where, where not to be and how, how the shape uh, dictates the other team and how to press. So yeah, we're very, very uh, familiar with the shape. And were you um, on forehand, uh, uh, Matthijs de Ligt played on the left side, so he, he got his left foot. Do you, did you um, speculate on that as a team? Uh, not really. We didn't really know the team coming into the game, apart from uh, about 45 minutes before the kickoff. So, but I think we, we were into the game all about us and how we we're going to implement our, ourselves on the game. And I thought we did that, and we, we nearly won the game to one. But just one of the things we'll, we'll, we'll take it to each draw, and it's, it's been a good performance, the lads. Any final questions? Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Kev. Well played. Thank you. Thanks.